Hello and uh, welcome back to my videos. In this video we want to work about uh, the WordPress and how you can create your first WordPress project by using the Composer and it's not so hard as it sounds and the benefits with this is you can upgrade all the, um, uh, the WordPress call basically just type uh, docker, not, not docker sorry, just compose update and then it will update your call. It's pretty nice and uh, I would say it's it's very needed, so you don't uh, need to think about how the server is. And the way we're working, it's um, it's take the WordPress install and put it inside to the Docker container, and then make Compose install, so we can build a, a completely exact image for about we running one container or one thousand containers in the same uh, project, or we can split it for multi projects it's very useful and i will show in this video about how we can work with the composer so we can starting up and see we need the database connection because it's not about the the video it's handled about it's not about the it's completing the wordpress install it's, it's just how you can setting up the the composer uh, environment for the docker and that's what we're going to do so before we're starting i really hope you enjoy and i really hope you will um, pressing on the ding in the right corner below on the video and if you have any questions please make a comments below I'll try to answer you so let's go ahead so the first thing we're gonna do is just deleting the, the app index file here and then we got a new one compose uh, just just uh, dot JSON sorry not compose composer yeah here we go and uh, then we just put inside and say the package we want to require here it's uh, we we need the the john uh, p balls wordpress and we need a bigger version than 54 and if we don't install the the themes now then we will get an issue uh, like the the styles is not loading uh, succeed so the default uh, themes we want to install inside here should be um, yeah should, should be from the same package provider so v package theme and then we need the 20 19 and we need uh, the newest version every time and I just copy this three times and then we say 20 yeah, 2020 and 2021 and that's the package we want to so now if I'm just setting compose install then we install in the right place but because it's modified version of the WordPress, we need to place the plugin folders and the, the content theme folders in different places. So we need to say extra and we say installer path, installer path and inside here, uh, I just say VP content plugins and then we say name and going inside here and we say all we want to say it's all what we'll take it by WordPress and it's a plugin so if we install something from the from the composer and it's take it like a WordPress plugin then it's no it should be placed in the plugin folder and uh, we basically it should be an array here sorry um, and, and we need the basically the same for the themes so why not copy this one I'm going down here and remove this and just say themes here and we just have it here and Below the installer path, we need WordPress install dear 
and I will just say VP. So inside the app folder here, when we going for the for the root, then we basically just have the folder called VP. So nothing, not thinking about that's too much, but that's what we're gonna do. And then we have a, a, a repository because we use this thing. It's not, it's not a s stuff from uh, you can use from GitHub and and something like that. Um, it's a custom repository for WordPress users uh, and people that want to use the the WordPress composer way. And it's and it's very important you you put this down. If you don't add the custom repository, it's well not working. So it's very very important. And uh, then we just say type, and we say composer, and then we say URL. And for this we need weep p .org. And that's it. So now we have the composer file, and uh, we just need to go inside the Docker file again, and we need to install the the composer down here. So install composer, and we say run composer install prefrigerist, and that should be it. If we're gonna running the setup now then we could just say the composer up and then it should be right away and running up so when it's running done we can go back here and see a local host and we get forbidden and that's because we are not having any index file anymore in the app and the wordpress is installed in the uh, vp folder so we need to to tell that so we need a little bit more before we um, are ready for for this configuration so let's going back for the editor and uh, closing down the the docker by the docker compose we can just say docker desktop i have it i could just move it here so you can see it and I just do this and remove it up and say remove and then the docker destroy the the container here but the image is still here so i need to a little bit fix after that and now it's going and you can see we cannot reload that so let's go back for the editor and do the rest so inside the docker we say docker uh, volume and pureness and just rem remember if you have other uh, containers down on your machine you will just remove it so be careful like that and uh, maybe you should just delete this from the command line say docker volume m and then just remove it i think that would be a better way and just docker image pure a and then just clean up and everything is nice now say shilles now we have cleaned up and we are ready to run the compose up again then we want to going inside here and say the index file we need and just say php and define and what we're going to say use theme true and then we say require your name file and then we say bp bp block header.php and close it down and same corner here i think i've coding too much node and uh, python so i just forget this way but yeah that's working and then we can just create one more say vpconfig.php that's what we're going to work with and uh, then we're just going up here and say domains equal to test domain dot test and we say defined and we say vp side dual and so just say domain ops here and for this we need slash vp and we can just say vp home uh, 
here we go and down here we say HTTP host is equal to is set server HTTP host else domain and we need the content here so say vp content here should be the name file and then vp content and I just do this and say HTTP and here domain yeah we go HTTP host and the difference is this is the UL and uh, then we are almost done here so we can just say if it's defined is path if it's not defined then we want to define it we say defined and we just say this one and say DNA and say file and BP and then we cry ons and say settings.php and then so now it's uh, ready so just say docker compose up and d and then should be building up and running what we have done here so just wait until it's done so when it's done we can just go in for the browser and reload it and see what is working now you can see it's a uh, it's error by getting connection for the database and that's super because then we are working as we want thank you for watching this video i really enjoy to teach you and don't forget to subscribe this channel and uh, you can do it by clicking on the thing below in the right corner and don't forget about uh, like and share this and all my code will be to found on the github so you can just go inside download down and then just spin it up it's still working as you can see here in the final screen. In the next video, I'll show how we can uh, convert the, the old way of the configuration to, to do the more Docker supported like uh, ENV. So just watch the next video to see how we can working with the ENV system variables by, by running with the Docker and configuration. So that, that's the next video. Hope to see you next time and uh, thank you for watching. See you. Bye.